Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Nina Means, Director for Austin Community College Fashion Incubator. Thank you so much for joining me for Coffee Talk each week. Um, I want to kind of get a chance to share with you a couple of things. One is we're really excited. Uh, we, over the course of South by Southwest, we were able to host a number of guests to the Fashion Incubator to demonstrate some of the things that we're doing regarding fashion technology and sustainability. And one of those guests um, happened to be from Women's Wear Daily. We'll get a chance to share with you some of the other exciting guests that we've had uh, visit us at a later date. However, um, during this visit, there was a high emphasis on fashion technology and sustainability. And I just wanted to thank Kaylee Rohich for her incredible article um, on um, what's happening here in Austin and how the industry here is growing. I'm gonna do a deeper dive on that article um, here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we wanted to continue with our series on cohort two, but I did not want to be remiss to mention uh, the incredible um, uh, coverage that Kaylee offered uh, the fashion incubator, but Austin fashion as a whole. You'll see a variety of different brands and businesses that are dedicated to sustainability, the implementation of fashion technology, and really uh, cultivating uh, the craft of fashion, the industry of fashion here in Austin. So you may have been surprised to see that in your Women's Wear Daily article, but we weren't. Uh, we know that's happening here in Austin and it's growing rapidly. And so we look forward to getting a chance to share with more of, of what's happening um, in the, the coming weeks, months, and years um, as we develop a very unique cross-section of what's happening in fashion here in Austin. Um, the area that I really want to, um, you know, today is really about kind of telling you guys about who is incubated here at the Fashion Incubator. People are like, who do you have? Who's in there? Um, what are they doing? Um, we have a variety of different brands, so many incredible stories. Um, it's going to be difficult to try to capture them all. But I will tell you, uh, today we're really going to focus on uh, one brand in particular called Sleep Never. Um, it is led by Aaron Torres, who is incredible. Uh, designer out of El Paso, Texas, who has moved to the Austin area to be a part of the, um, the fashion incubator. So if you're familiar with Texas, uh, Austin's here in the central region of our state. Um, it's about an eight hour drive uh, to El Paso. So we really take it seriously whenever um, three out of our five brands in this year's cohort relocated to Austin to participate um, in the fashion incubator um, and to be able to build their brands here in Austin with the research, the resources that we have here locally. Um, one of, um, I wanted to, what I wanted to share with you about Aaron is, you know, a lot of our founders are multifaceted, multimedia artists. Um, he actually got a start in film um, and being able to create uh, digital representations of his art there. And so now he's moving um, over the last several years, he's been doing incredible custom work in fashion. It's really been a um, core part of how he operates now. It's really his lead business um, and has really kind of stood out amongst his peers across the board um, in a variety of different spaces in terms of his expert pattern making skills, his ability to see pretty much any garment and recreate it. And what I was going to do is since we have um, this kind of filtering through our Zoom, just so you could get a, a quick glimpse of his work. Uh, it's really incredible what he's been able to do. Um, and so if you want to uh, participate and share in some of our incredible brands, I'd love for you to get a chance to just kind of look through some of their incredible work. Um, these kind of vintage upcycles, um, you know, kind of these, you know, really wild avant-garde pieces, the ability to do um, outerwear, um, evening gowns, Really, you know, I think the hardest thing with some of our brands is that they really can do it all. And so um, helping them to narrow down their focus as they're creating, uh, you know, these capsule collections that are really going to become like their bread and butter, while they continue to do these really exciting um, item-based pieces, you know, is really going to create an opportunity for us to be able to serve our fashion industry that much better. Um, it is about commercial, but it is also about art. Um, and as we're seeing all these various components of our industry transform, we really want to help our brands show up effectively um, in the variety of spaces that they are required to as a small emerging brand. Um, I understand that there is a lot to unpack there. We only have a few minutes in Coffee Talk 
uh, to kind of get into it. But if we're going to try to keep it simple, um, Aaron is really a powerhouse in terms of our, uh, you know, amongst our cohort of designers. We are really proud to have him on board. Um, the resilience, the um, resourcefulness of what he's been able to create. He just showed at um, the fashion showcase um, in El Paso at the Museum of Art and has really been able to create some really unique um, experiences there, um, as well as, um, you know, it's really critical that we see that our designers are also giving back to their community. And so you know, he teaches workshops and master classes in that region to be able to kind of continue to promote the art and design and science of fashion. So we love having Aaron on board, um, kind of the connecting that education uh, to fashion um, and being able to translate those ideas to others. You know, I know that there's other designers who, you know, kind of sat and learn from Aaron kind of in that collaborative studio workspace that we have for them and um, has, have really benefited um, from connecting with Aaron um, more directly. Um, we've been really impressed um, with the quality of the work as well as what's possible in terms of commercial sales. So as we continue to develop them and get them ready for uh, showrooms, get them ready for you know um, online business, their e-commerce, um, re recreating and rebranding um, a lot of their work. Um, keep an eye out on what's happening in this space. We will let you guys know we've got some incredible rebrands. Um, one, one of our companies just launched their first NFT collection. So there's a lot of exciting things that are happening in this space and we can't wait to share with you in more detail um, about the specific things with so many stories, so little time. Um, this is just a brief moment for you to get a chance to know who is here, what are they doing? Um, what kinds of products are they working on? And what kinds of things could you expect in the, in the future? Um, and so we're looking forward to sharing um, all of those developments with you um, through this medium of Coffee Talk. Um, this really, we want to see this as more kind of our highlight reel of things that are going on and kind of quick connections at the beginning of the week. So we look forward to getting a chance to connect with you guys again in, uh, in the future. Next week, we will not be going live, but we will join you um, back in April. Um, April would be our uh, the very first uh, Monday in April will be our next time that we'll be going live. But next week, we will not be here. So um, again, guys, thanks so much for your time this morning. I uh, wanna, you know, this is just a kind of a quick injection. Um, we love our designers. Aaron's our focus today. Um, we want to thank um, Kaylee again at Women's Wear Daily for that incredible spread. We are going to do that um, that spread justice here in just a moment. And we'll get a chance to talk a little bit more about all of the components that Kaylee was able to pull out about the growth of the Austin fashion industry. So again, guys, thanks so much. And this has been Coffee Talk. Have a great week.